In this lesson, you will learn how to create a picture graph. Another word for picture graph is a pictograph. Both are correct. A picture graph is a chart or diagram that displays data visually using pictures and a key. The key is very important when looking at a picture graph. If you read the key wrong, then it could throw off your data. It will throw off your data. So let's look at an example. This picture graph is about the school supplies that I counted in our classroom. I counted mark pencils, markers, paper, and scissors. Now if I look at the key, I see that each pencil is worth 10. So for each picture that I see, I'm going to count by 10s. So let's look here at the pencils. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. But then I see a half of a pencil, kind of like a broken pencil. That's going to represent half of what the key says. We know that half of 10 is 5. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then a half, so we're going to say 55. The next one, markers. We're going to count by 10s again, 10, 20, 30, and then we have a half, so it's going to be 35. For paper, I counted by 10, so I have 10, plus the half of a pencil is 5, so I have 15 packs of paper. And then for scissors, when I went to count up my scissors, I have 10, 20, 30. I don't see any halves, so that's exactly 30. Picture graphs help to organize data in a visual way. If you were to see this written out in a list, it might be a little harder to read, or uh, it might just be a different way of showing it. But this a picture graph is a really good way of showing information and data visually. There are four parts to a picture graph. We have the title, the categories, the pictures, and of course the key. And you want to make sure, just like with a bar graph or a line plot or any other graphs, you want to make sure to space it out just right so that it looks organized. A cool way to remember those four parts is to take cool pictures of kids. Or you could say take cool pictures of kangaroos, take cool pictures of whatever K word you want to come up with. This is what I thought of for um, a cool way of, of remembering title, categories, pictures, and the key. Steps for creating a picture graph. There are five steps for creating a picture graph. First, you want to formulate a question or formulate questions to investigate. After you've decided which question you're going to investigate, then you can design data investigations. Then you'll be able to design the investigation to be able to answer that question. Number three, you're going to then go and collect the data. There are several ways to collect data. You can survey, poll, uh, do a poll, a questionnaire, perform an experiment, or make observations. If I wanted to make observations about how many boys and girls I have in my classroom, I wouldn't have to do an experiment on that. I could simply look around and count and make observations to make my pictograph that way. Step four, to organize your data. After you've collected your data, you then need to organize it by constructing the pictograph. And number five, after you've constructed it, you may then analyze and interpret data from the graph. Kind of like with our school supplies pictograph before, we analyzed and we could tell how many of each school supply we had. For an example, I went ahead and used those five steps to create an investigation. So the first thing I do, did was to formulate some questions. And I chose the question, which animals did you see on our nature walk? So let's pretend we went outside and went on a nature walk. And I gave you a list to, uh, of animals to keep up with, a list of things to watch out for while we were on our nature walk. So part of that list was birds, squirrels, dogs, and bugs. So maybe we went, we went down on Percival's Isle 
and we uh, saw people walking their dogs, we might have seen some birds, squirrels, and you may have seen other animals, but these are the four that we're going to focus on for our nature walk and for our pictograph. So once we collect the data, let's say we saw three birds, seven squirrels, eight dogs, and 16 bugs. So this is now the part where we've collected the data. So the first step was to formulate your question. We did that. The second step was to design the data investigation. We had four items we were looking for, or four animals we were looking for. The third step was to collect the data, and we simply made observations on our nature walk. And the fourth step is to then organize it by um, constructing a graph. Now, remember, take cool pictures of kids, so we want to make sure and have a title. I titled ours, Animals Seen on Nature Walk. So even if you didn't know which question we investigated, you would still know what our pictograph was about. You want to make sure that your title has something, um, has, is worded in a way that's very clear for the reader or the person who's analyzing it. Then we had our categories. We took our categories and we plotted them right onto the pictograph. Then we um, had to figure out how to put these data points, these, um, this data, and put it into the, the pictograph. So in order to do that, I wanted to think of, I, I was thinking I could do a B for a picture. I could draw a picture of a dog. I could draw a picture of maybe a dog bone or a squirrel, anything that you want for your picture as long as it has to do with the, uh, the pictograph itself or the question that you investigated. So I chose a bird for my picture. In my key, I said that each bird is equal to two animals that I saw. So let's see if I did indeed fill out our pictograph correctly. We had three birds, so each is two. We're going to count by twos. Two. And then I did half of a bird here, so half of two is one. So there we go, is three. And then for the squirrels, I said that I saw seven. Two, four, six, there's my half again, so that's seven. And then the dogs, I said that I saw eight. Two, four, six, eight, good. Bugs, I said that I saw 16. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Ooh, I left out a bird. So I wanted it to represent 16. If I'm counting by twos, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, I'm going to want to add one more bird to the pictograph to make sure that it represents 16 bucks. Always go back and double check your pictograph to make sure it matches the data that you collected. And of course, those were my pictures.